Hey guys, Mr. Wicked Truck here. Today I'm going to show you guys the special mobs mod for 1.5.1. .1. This adds tons of new mobs, or, well, it has the same mobs, just kind of buffed up. I'm only going to show you one part since there's so many, I couldn't possibly go through all of them in one video. So, let's get started. The first mob I've got here is the Armor Creeper, which, as you can see, starts with a leather chest plate and leather boots. It that's basically all it does. It's just harder to kill than the average creeper. Its explosion is the regular size of a normal creeper and as you can see there was no explosion animation. What this drops is it can drop leather or rarely it will drop gunpowder. So it's basically a normal creeper with leather and that is the first mob of the day. And I'm only going to be doing the creeper part of this mod or yeah mod because you know there's so many I'll make different videos with different mods mobs mods and mobs similar words hard to say but yeah that's the first mob well let's go on to the second this mob is called the ender creeper it is going to be exactly like the regular creeper except when you look at it it'll teleport like an enderman or slenderman and it will teleport right to you when you're not looking and you're laying in bed and crying because you don't know where it went. And it will explode and it will kill you and it will kill your family. It's very mean, but not as mean as the Doom Creeper, which I'll come up with later if I can even find it. So, well, let's test out this thing. Oh yeah, and before I start that, it drops Ender Pearls and something called the Whip of Destruction, which I don't think is in the creative menu. So, you know, I'm just going to have to live without having that. Oh, no, not time set. Game mode zero. Okay. Wait, no, let's change it to night, because I don't know. Oh, and yeah, pumpkins work on these guys, too. I'm not sure about the water thing, though. See, he's not hostile right now. Until I look at him. And then he teleports away. And I'm walking. And there he is again. He comes. He comes to me at night. He teleported away again. Just like an enderman. Except, not as scary, because frankly, I'm more scared of Enderman than I am of this guy. He won't explode! Oh, there we go. Yeah, so that's like the regular uh, explosion of a normal creeper, but he teleports, so he's unique. Let me just kill this. Wow, that wasn't a one-hit kill? But this is the mega epic sword that kills mobs! Good lord! This is the second mob. It is called the Jumping Creeper. What the jumping creeper does is it jumps really high, takes no fall damages, and it explodes harmlessly in the air. The forum post didn't really explain this one that much, so I'm not sure what it's going to do. I'm going to test it out in a second here, um, but I'm going to go through what it drops. If you kill it, it will drop glowstone dust, and it can rarely drop gunpowder. Now, I'm going to change into, into survival mode and see what it does to me. Alright, give me what you got. Oh yeah, I'm not creative, gotta... Hello? That's not at all what it's supposed to do. What a bad mob! Man, things just don't go right in these mod showcases. Caitlin was gonna be in it? Well then something didn't go right and she couldn't join my LAN so it's just by myself. On to the next mob! This is the Fire Creeper. It is immune to fire, lava, and lightning. It gets hurt when it's in lava, and when it isn't, I mean water, when it isn't water, it also cannot explode. It drops fire charges and coal, and rarely it will drop flint and steel. Now, let's see the explosion radius of this red-headed creeper. See what I did there? Yeah, you did. Okay, game of zero. I don't really want to die, so I'll just try and get it to explode when I'm not near it. Oh! And it sets everything on fire. Including zombies. There we go, now it kills in one hit. And I'm just gonna cross over here, because I trapped another zombie. I mean, uh, creeper. And it despawned. I'll be right back after I find another creeper. Bye! Bye! This is the lightning creeper. It will shoot down lightning when it explodes, and it can charge any creepers that are around it, so and making them charged creepers. I'm pretty sure that its explosion radius will be the same as an, as a charge as a charged creeper. And just in case you're wondering, it does not take any damage from the lightning because it's dead. And 
Rarely it will drop gunpowder, and the most common thing it will drop is redstone dust. Now, we will get it to kill me. Well, not necessarily kill me, just... Yeah, let's see. Ugh. Come at me, bro! Jesus! What? What is this? Sir Mason the Super? Well, that was interesting. The next creeper on our list is the Doom Creeper. The Doom Creeper knows its doom, knows its doom, so when you kill it, it still explodes. And it can still explode even if you don't kill it, so I don't think you can just walk right past it, say hello, give it a cookie. It will still try and kill you. But the explosion that it makes when it dies is definitely weaker than when it when you just kill or uh, when it explodes by itself because you know it wouldn't really be fair if you're right here and you just kind of punch it to death and then you die because he's just so OP so that's why he's not OP he drops bone meal and rarely he'll drop a gas deer so I'm gonna kill it just to show you how big the explosion is am I doing in creative alright here's his head I'm just gonna get rid of this stuff Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, okay, so that doesn't damage anything. It doesn't damage the landscape. Oh, there it is. It it blew up the landscape. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right here, I've trapped the Death Creeper. The Death Creeper looks pretty much the same as the Doom Creeper, except it has red eyes and looks a little more evil. So, the difference is... Oh, shoot, fire. Yeah, lava wasn't a good idea. But, that's okay. The Death Creeper's explosion strength is the same of TNT, which I didn't really realize was stronger than a regular Creeper until now. And, that's pretty much it. Oh, wait, no. It When you light it on fire with a flint and steel, then it would, all, it would also explode. So, it's basically like a walking piece of TNT. And, what it drops is lots of gunpowder and TNT. Now, we are going to see its amazing amazing power of goodness when it explodes if it ever comes near right now near enough to explode what holy lord okay yep I'll be on the search for the earth creeper I will be right back now for the final creeper this creeper is called the earth creeper Instead of damaging the area around it, the Earth Keeper does the exact opposite. It will completely cover the area that it explodes in with dirt. That's why it's called the Dirt Creeper. What it does, well, what it drops is bread, dirt, and rarely grass. So nothing too great. It, I'd rather just like to see the explosion and see how big the record dirt pile can be. Let's see what happens when it explodes, how big the dirt will be. Oh, okay, it's not that big. So this is basically what it does. It explodes, makes a big pile of poop, and that's what it does. So if you like this video, remember to like, favorite, subscribe, and advertise for me because that would be great since I'm obviously limited to what I could do. I can't, like do everything I try to but then if I start advertising on anything people are raging and telling me I should do it the old-fashioned way but then they don't tell me what the old-fashioned way is so I have no idea what to do okay that's it bye